so till now we have seen how to do sum of sequences which involves single binomial coefficients so in this topic we'll try to see how to summate the sequences containing products of binomial coefficients so example if i ask you to find c not square plus c1 square plus c2 square plus so on up to cn square so this cannot be done using the previous theory because each term is a product of two binomial coefficients c0 into c0 c1 into c1 c2 into c2 so on so if i ask you to find c0 c1 plus c1 c2 plus c2 c3 plus so on up to cn minus 1 cn so this is also one type this is also comes under this heading or c0 c2 plus c1 c3 plus c2 c4 plus so on up to c n minus 2 cn or so let us try to see what the sequence is that we are talking about so if you have c0 into cn plus c1 cn minus 1 plus c2 cn minus 2 plus so on cn c0 so we have the sequence or c0 cn minus 1 plus c1 cn minus 2 plus so on up to cn minus 1 c0 so if you have sequence like this or so if you have c0 square minus c1 square plus c2 square minus c3 square plus minus so on up to cn square so if you have a sequence containing alternate plus minus or if you have a sequence like this c0 square plus 2 times c1 square plus 3 times c2 square plus 4 times c3 square plus so on n plus 1 times cn square so if you are asked to summit the sequences like this so this these are the term these are the sequence that we are talking about in this heading all the sequence involving involve terms which contain products of two binomial coefficients now if you see the first one and the second one and the third one the difference between the arguments is same 2 minus 0 is 2 3 minus 1 is 2 4 minus 2 so 0 minus 0 1 minus 1 2 minus 2 the difference is between the suffixes lower suffixes is equal to 0 the difference between the lower suffixes is equal to 1 the difference between the lower suffixes is 2 and in these two expansions in these two sequences the sum of the lower suffixes is same the sum of the lower suffixes is same and in third one you have an alternate plus minus and in this expression instead of apart from c0 square c1 square c2 square and c3 square you have some integers which are increasing so you can also have something like the c0 square plus c1 square by 2 plus c2 square by 3 plus so on up to cn square by n plus 1 so you can also have this expression so if you are asked to do these summations let us see how to do the summation so now let us look at the type 1 questions where the difference between the lower suffixes is constant that is if you can have if you have terms like c0 square plus c1 square plus c2 square so on or c0 c1 plus c1 c2 plus c2 c3 plus so on or c0 c2 plus c1 c3 plus c2 c4 plus so on so if you have terms like this summations like that so we consider 1 plus x whole power n expansion c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus 1 and 1 plus 1 by x power n is c0 plus c1 by x plus c2 by x square plus 1 now if you multiply these two 1 plus x whole power n into 1 plus 1 by x whole power n is equal to c0 plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus c3 x cube plus so on up to cn x power n into c0 plus c1 by x plus c2 by x square 
plus so on plus cm by x power. So, this multiplication is same as the multiplication of this bracket into this bracket. So, now let us try to consider the corresponding coefficients on the LHS and RHS. So, now first let us try to see the constant term. Constant term. So, what is the constant term in the RHS? The constant term in the RHS, if you want to get the constant term, what are the things that you need to multiply? C0 has to be multiplied with C0, C1x has to be multiplied with C1 by x, x and x gets cancelled, x square and x square gets cancelled, so on. So, in the RHS, the constant term is C0 square plus C1 square plus C2 square plus C3 square plus so on up to Cn square. So, this is a constant term. Now, what is the constant term in the LHS? So, let us try to analyze LHS separately. So, you have 1 plus x power n into if you take the LCM x plus 1 is 1 plus x power n by x power n. That is nothing but sorry 1 plus x whole power n into 1 plus x whole power n. 1 plus x whole power 2 n into x power minus n. So, this is the LHS. Now, what is the constant term in the LHS? So, if you have x power minus n inside outside, so you have to consider the coefficient of x power n here, so that x power n and x power minus n will get cancelled out. So, what is the coefficient of x power n here? 2 n c n. So, 1 plus x whole power 2 n. In this expression, what is the constant, what is the coefficient of x power n? 2 n c n. So, this implies 2 n c n is equal to sigma c r whole square r is going from 0 to n. So, if you consider constant term, you are getting the summation of c naught square plus c 1 square plus so on. Now, if you want the coefficient of x power 1. So, what is the coefficient of x? So, in this multiplication, so if you want the coefficient of x. So, c naught has to be multiplied with c 1 here. So, if you want the coefficient of x, sorry, c1 has to be multiplied with c0, c2 has to be multiplied with c1, so on. So, c1, c0, that is c0, c1 plus c1, c2. So, if this number is multiplied by this number, so you get an x. So, if this is multiplied by the next one, you get an x again plus c2, c3 plus so on plus cn minus 1 c n is equal to. So, on the LHS also you have to consider the coefficient of x. So, you have x power minus n here. So, if you want the coefficient of x, you have to get the coefficient of x power n plus 1 here. So, x power n plus 1 into x power minus n will become x. So, this is equal to 2 n c n plus 1. Similarly, if the difference is 2, it is c naught c 2 plus c 1 c 3 plus c 2, c 4, plus so on up to c n minus 2, c n is equal to. So, you have to get the coefficient of x power x square now that is 2 n c n plus 2. So, whatever is the difference here, the difference will come. So, the, dif the differences are you have 2 n c n plus r. That is if you have c naught c r plus c 1 c r plus 1 plus c 2 c r plus 2 plus so on c naught c r plus c 1 c r plus 1 so on up to c n c n minus r c n. So, if the sum has to be same c. So, c naught c r plus c 1 c r plus 1 plus c 2 c r plus 2. So, the difference is r r r and the difference is r right. So, this is equal to 2 n c n plus r. So, this is a formula which you need to remember. So, the difference of the lower suffixes is equal to r, the summation is 2 n c n plus r. So, this is one of the formula which you need to remember. So, now let us go for type 2 that is if the sum of the lower suffixes is constant. So, in such case what I do is I will consider 1 plus x whole power n 
एंड अगेन वन प्लस एक्स होल पॉल सी नॉट प्लस सी वन एक्स प्लस सी टू एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस सी थ्री एक्स क्यूब प्लस सो ऑन अप टू सी एन एक्स पॉल नाउ एल मल्टीप्लाई दीज टू एक्सप्रेशन सो वन प्लस एक्स होल पॉल टू एन विल बी इक्वल टू समेशन ऑफ दिस इन टू दिस इफ दिस इज द फर्स्ट ब्रैकेट एंड इफ दिस इज सेकेंड ब्रैकेट so now once you multiply these two so if you want the coefficient of x power n on both sides so if you want the coefficient of x power n in the uh, in the lhs it is 2n c so in the lhs it is 2n c and what is the coefficient of x power n in the rhs so if you want the coefficient of x power n you have to multiply c not with cn c1 With c n minus one, because if you have x here, you should multiply it with x power n minus one term. That is c n minus one, c two into c n minus two, so on. That is c not c n plus c one c n minus one plus c two c n minus two plus so on up to c n c not. So this will be equal to two n c. So if you closely observe, this is exactly same as what we have derived previously, because c n is nothing but c not. C n minus one can be written as c one. C n minus two can be written as c two. So on. So if the, if you find the coefficient of x power n minus one on the LHS, it is two n c n or x power n plus one, two n c n plus one. So what is the coefficient of x power n plus one? To get the coefficient of x power n, I have to multiply c one x with C n x power n. You get x power n plus one. So C one C n plus C two C n minus one plus C three C n minus two plus so on. C one into this so on. C n minus one C one. So this summation will be equal to two n C n plus one. Similarly, if you take x power n plus two, you get different thing. So on. So, if the sum of the coefficients, if the sum of the lower suffixes is same, if the sum of the lower suffixes is same. So, we have to consider the product of one plus x whole power n and one plus x whole power. So, can I write a general formula for this? If the summation is n plus one, you get n plus one here. If the summation is n, you get n here. So, if you have, uh, if you have the summation C R. And if the if the expansion starts with C R into C N plus C R plus one into C N minus one plus C R plus two into C N minus two plus so on plus so on and R N is getting reduced R is getting increased so if you have a summation like this the summation of this will be equal to two N C N Plus R, two n c n plus R. So the last term will be c n. The last term will be c n and c r. C n into c r. So sorry, here it will be c n into c n minus c n into c one. So this is the process which we follow if the sum of lower suffixes is constant. 